a transformative innovation of using quantum technology to produce green hydrogen in bulk and powering the green future is the objective of Professor Somnath. Let's know all about it from the man himself and his team. So here when we started our research, we focused mainly on sustainable energy uh, um, uh, problems, uh, sustainable energy related research and uh, how to uh, solve the energy, um, uh, ongoing uh, ensuing energy problems in a sustainable manner. So to address that, one of the biggest ongoing problem is basically the hydrogen energy or uh, basically how to generate the hydrogen in a sustainable manner. So when we started our research at the time, we had only reference that hydrogen can be produced sustainably or the green hydrogen can be produced by electrolysis and uh, many other uh, energy intensive processes or carbon intensive processes. However, we were mostly inter interested to convert the solar light directly into the hydrogen energy. And there is a bigger problem or uh, one of the big uh, challenge into uh, this problem that uh, basically that you cannot convert efficiently uh, uh, the solar light into hydrogen because the efficiency of such reaction which is namely photochemical hydrogen, uh, photochemical splitting of water to produce the hydrogen is rather a inefficient process. Then we uh, took a newer approach of quantum technology. So uh, the quantum technology we are working since uh, my PhD days itself and here I have a, uh, a 3D model of our quantum container. We call it quantum container because it is hollow. This quantum container inside the quantum container we have a very strong quantum effect and as we can understand that this kind this uh, quantum effect not only is changing the kinetics of water splitting but also altering the thermodynamics of the same reaction into more favorable manner when the thermodynamics is getting favored in uh, production of green hydrogen at that case uh, in that case we have a, a much advantage that the increase of quantum efficiency dramatically to a much higher extent and that will produce the hydrogen into a much higher rate also because that which was the basic problem of photochemical hydrogen production using solar light. So, when we start uh, started producing the hydrogen through this quantum technology, then the, our next challenge was that how can we produce this hydrogen in a sustainable manner. So to ensure the sustainability, we took a newer approach which is waste to wealth approach which uh, nowadays government of India also is promoting that we will be using some of the waste materials like uh, for example in our case we are using metal powders or mixed metal powders which is a basically metal waste from many of the metal industries a mixed metal powder is is good for us for the production of hydrogen on the other hand one more thing ne needed when we talk about the bulk production of green hydrogen the proton source there also we uh, have taken the similar approach of generating such proton sources from the industrially available uh, waste materials and uh, such a, a novel technology which is mostly the waste to wealth where the introduction of quantum technology boost up the quantum efficiency of light absor absorption to much higher than the reported values uh, to up to 90 percent. So the, the, such kind of high quantum efficiency can uh, uh, we have observed and that has enabled us to achieve a magical rate of 1 liter per minute production of green hydrogen. 
through our solar processes. So this is about our uh, process, but when we are uh, performing such kind of uh, reactions, it is qu quite a tedious job and uh, I, am, I am blessed with uh, uh, to, um, uh, to be the guide of few very hard working students who performed uh, innumerable uh, number of iterations of this catalysis process to uh, basically optimize this process which is now adopted by different chemical industries or uh, energy industries for upscaling purpose. We have also obtained the NOC from the Ministry of Science and Technology for uh, transferring this technology into pr private domain for upscaling this purpose and eventually this technology will be one of the technology of national importance for, uh, for the production of green hydrogen using the sunlight. This technology should be, uh, should be one of the future technology to produce the green hydrogen in a much more sustainable and much more greener manner because this technology we are, what we are using is of zero carbon footprint, absolutely zero carbon footprint because we are not using any kind of uh, available power resources or uh, available raw materials, pure raw materials to produce our hydrogen. So it is an entirely waste to wealth approach and uh, definitely is an approach of uh, uh, which is uh, much more economically viable as well as technologically superior. So we are now going to demonstrate the production of green hydrogen as it is uh, given here. So here are few chemicals we have kept. Uh, this is the quantum catalyst as we have already mentioned and we have shown the structure also. This is the mixed, uh, mixed uh, metal dust. So two or three metals have been mixed and this is basically our one of the proton source. Okay, derived from the uh, uh, natural resources and uh, this is the water. So we will be adding one by one all the chemicals and we will prepare the mixture and further we will irradiate the entire system with this our visible light irradiation system which is basically uh, approximately one sun radiation system. So I am first adding the, here I am first adding the our quantum catalyst in this. So the media of the reaction is only water where uh, and it will be basically finally this catalyst will be splitting the water. Okay. Next we will be adding the uh, proton source is the proton source. And we will be uh, now using this so all, all have been added and now finally we are here to start basically the we will be adding all the water to fill up the volume and this is the finally the mixed metal dust So all the chemicals are now added. Now we will fill up the volume. So the mixture is now practically ready. Now we will fill the volume up to uh, maybe another 1 litre and finally we will start the irradiation to produce the hydrogen. Okay. So now the, now the mixture is all ready. And uh, there is enough light as you can see simple uh, uh, LED light and if you zoom in the camera you can see the start of the hydrogen evolution even by this visible light is yes, coming. Now this will be augmented once uh, we put uh, the approximately one sun light LED, through LEDs. So you can see this hydrogen is coming out. So even by the LED light what we are using here, it is still enough to 
uh, because of this quantum catalyst inside here, it is able to absorb uh, this light intensity and to produce the hydrogen as you can see through this. As you can see through this camera that hydrogen is continuously getting evolved even by your uh, light and, uh, 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 and simultaneously the balloon will be blowing up. Now it is the just initial stage and uh, soon it will pick up the speed and the maximum speed of hydrogen evolution will be from this small scale itself it will be approximately 1 liter per minute and uh, hence you can understand in an industrial rate when uh, approximately a, a, a smallest charge, un, a charge uh, quantity will be approximately one ton or some, so, so you, we can expect a very huge amount of hydrogen production from such photochemical reaction using quantum technology. Right. Now let us start the illumination. Before that the pressure uh, or the hydrogen will be evolving so much that practically we just uh, um, uh, use this wire as a stopper so that the the that our manifold will not fly away with the high production of hydrogen so just as a protection system that eventually the rate will increase and uh, then we will not be able to control with the simple manifold so it's a production system. Now we are going to place this entire reaction. Okay. So is now uh, the reaction is has uh, started and uh, now we are going to switch on the light. So you can observe that uh, we have started the photochemical reaction with uh, nearly one sun illumination with this uh, four LED lights which is approximate power is around 300 uh, watt. Uh, now uh, the balloon, uh, in the balloon the evolved hydrogen is getting collected and soon uh, it will uh, start basically the uh, 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 it will start the hydrogen production at a much higher rate. So in, it is the, just the initial um, uh, lagging period, After some time it will be, the rate of reaction will eventually increase. So you can uh, uh, see that it is nearly uh, around 1 liter of green hydrogen has been evolved in last 5 minutes and uh, this will slowly increase uh, uh, to 1 liter per minute. So up to now I have demonstrated that how we have started with our hydrogen technology but now what is the use of this produced hydrogen. So here we are um, uh, using the um, uh, produced green hydrogen or pure green hydrogen for vehicle purposes, for energy generation and for uh, many other purposes which I would one by one will uh, display to you. So, Firstly, uh, with the two-wheeler, let us start. Here, uh, uh, our uh, the fantastic point of our technology is that we are not using any hydrogen storage system. So, uh, the storage system for hydrogen is the one of the biggest challenge we have, which we have completely excluded. So, this is a storage-free uh, drive of the two-wheeler. This is a bike which is running on uh, completely on hydrogen. The fuel is completely off. Okay, and uh, we are uh, here the hydrogen. So, uh, simply from the uh, cylinder we are using the hydrogen and 
by a storage free system we are uh, driving on, the, on this vehicle. As you can see here the uh, there is no smoke because the uh, the exhaust product is the, is the only water vapor. And now we will drive this entire uh, the uh, two wheeler and as you can see that it will be uh, going through the hydrogen mobility and uh, without any storage devices. So let us start. After we have demonstrated the two wheeler mobility by hydrogen, here we are going to demonstrate the hydrogen uh, run energy production system which is a uh, generator, a Honda generator, 2.8 uh, uh, kilowatt Honda generator, we, are, we will be running through the hydrogen without a storage system. This one only in uh, uh, petrol, then after the petrol is consumed, then we will convert it to the uh, into hydrogen. Now this Honda generator is now running on hydrogen as you can see. So it is directly coming from the, uh, the cylinder only and there is no other storage system and uh, here is the flow meter and the gas is directly entering into the engine. So here we have a lot of manifold uh, has been uh, placed inside so that it does not uh, create any kind of uh, explosion or shockwave based uh, any other complications. So now you can see it is completely running on hydrogen and as the exhaust is only water vapor there is no smoke. Right. So this is a very green way to produce the electricity using a Honda generator. Uh, if we talk about our inspiration for uh, doing so, that, uh, that started practically long back since my PhD days. Because nowadays only government of India have recognized the quantum technology as a very promising future technology. Whereas we were performing or uh, we, were be fam we were familiar about this qu uh, uh, quantum technologies since 2010 and it is practically 15 years we are working with quantum technologies. So when I was working with the quantum technologies, we were able to alter many chemical reactions uh, in, in a, a very di different uh, uh, pathways and that then uh, gave, me a, uh, gave me a thought that can we use this, uh, uh, the boon of this kind of quantum technology for the benefit of, uh, uh, for, for the benefit of energy research? Because in today's world, there are two major issues, burning issues in front of us. One is the energy, uh, 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 the source of energy or the availability of energy sources or carbon neutral energy sources in more better term, which is also should be safer. So uh, uh, in that sense, the uh, basically the green hydrogen uh, plays a key, very key role. But there was, uh, as I mentioned, during our uh, uh, start of the research, we have only one uh, 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 one reference that we were only knowing that it can be produced by uh, by electrolysis. But electrolysis is is a is a not a not that much sustainable because it uses very highly pure water as well as very intense level of electricity uh, at a very high extent. So then we thought that can we make a sustainable development for energy uh, uh, production. And as we all know, solar uh, uh, power or um, uh, solar energy is the is the uh, major key for us. But when we look at the, the solar panels, then we have found the energy efficiencies are of the order of 20 to 25 percent only at the max and that at the max. So then we thought with this uh, efficiency, it will be not possible for us to, uh, to sustainably develop the or sustainably, sustainably use the electricity developed by the solar panel. So rather we have to use the solar energy directly without the involvement of the solar panel. But that was quite uh, quite challenging at some point. 
I always looked at the nature when I uh, stuck up uh, at some very uh, unusual problems. Then I found what about the plant leaves? They also use the solar, solar light at a much higher efficiency in fact. In fact, they use even 45 to 54 percent efficiencies of the uh, quantum efficiency can be achieved that high. So then I thought if we can module, uh, we can modulate our uh, uh, system in a manner to mimic the solar uh, uh, energy harvesting mechanism of the plant leaves, maybe we have a chance. So we started with Z scheme based uh, uh, photochemical system and successful application of the Z scheme based photochemical uh, system together with resonance energy transfer mechanism finally gave the entire, uh, uh, entire clue to us to go for much higher quantum efficiency what we have achieved today. Following our journey. Uh, I would also like to share a uh, few experiences or uh, real life experiences which may motivate the, uh, the young entrepreneurs that uh, during my uh, switch over from NIT Trichy to Benaras Hindu University, we have been in a situation that uh, financial, financially we were in a uh, much bigger problem because as we understand that uh, government processes take some uh, duly uh, needed time that uh, to transfer the fund from NIT Trichy to BHU. But we have never stopped or we have not, we have never uh, think back that okay, uh, we have no support or uh, any uh, all, uh, e even within all negativities, we uh, have never stopped. We rather thought that let us take this one as a challenge and let us perform better as much we can uh, over the time. So this is one of the uh, b b like a key experience I would like to share that uh, at some point we were uh, in a need of multiple iterations of this technology to upscale it uh, to optimize this technology. So I remember I and my students even worked practically two continuous uh, days day night con con continuously to upscale this technology and finally we have uh, got uh, a uh, sweet reward for it. This, this technology has been uh, inaugurated by the senior officials of the Department of Science and Technology of Government of India. So this is a big reward we got out of a very very hard work uh, from all sort of challenges. So here we have the production of green hydrogen, pure green hydrogen.